Okay, everybody. I'm hoping that my stream looks good today also. I'm kind of pushing it going live twice. Um, I'm hoping that everybody's kind of relaxed. The ones around me have had their dinner. Um, I was looking at TV and there was really nothing on. And I do have some lots to show that I like to um, pass on. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Um, sorry about the cord in the back, but I'm trying to get my um, antenna TV to work correctly. So, hi, Rebecca. Um, so I thought I'd just go ahead and start right off. Um, like I said, it's just a surprise. I was going through my jewelry and I had some things I'd like to lot together for a good price. Small, separate lots. <clears throat> so, yeah, Rebecca, I hope you're feeling better today. Okay, good. I'm glad you're listening, sweetie. That's wonderful. Okay, so the first thing I've got is a pair of, it's two pair of, they are faux pearls. This is the first pair. And they're very pretty. They've got like, I think these are just crystals here. Um, I don't know if you can see the bling bling or not. There we go. That's the first pair. And this is the second pair. And they are little crowns. I just thought they were so sweet. With a little faux crystal at the top. Those are both silver tone. And... This little lock comes with this little pendant, which is almost like a crown also. And it has a little heart in the center. And this little lot right here, the two earrings and the pendant are $7. And that's going to be lot number one. Hi, Elaine. I don't know how I lost my numbers, but I did. I, I spent all that time making them and now I don't have them. So that was number one, and those were the three set, two earrings. Very good. Okay, how's everybody doing? Amanda, what have you been doing? I wanted to go swimming today, but I never got to go. It's too hot to just sit outside. Um, the next thing I have is just a small little lot of bracelets. Two of them are rhinestone, and they're very nice. They're stretchies. And they really look great on. Very easy to get on. And they're the kind that stretch back, but these don't pinch. These are a little better made than some. Those two. And then I have two little stretch bracelets. And one of them is kind of a mauve with flowers here. Ooh, root canals are not fun. Elaine, how are you, dear? There's one, and this one's kind of a kind of a dusky pink. But I thought they kind of went together. And this little four-piece bracelet set. Here with the rhinestones, and th this is also six dollars. There, that picture is much better. For the four piece set, is six. And that's number two. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be a whole lot hotter here tomorrow, so we shall see. Okay, next I have a tiny little earring lot. It is very sweet. It has little crystally doodads on them. There is my little jewelry crystal lot. These are purple. That's the first pair. And these all have new backs on them. I always put new backs on all of them. Unless it's a marked pair. And I try to leave the, <coughs> excuse me, the old set on. And then send a new set also. So that's the purple. So that's one. 
And this is two. These are just a black. Probably a plastic. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure if that's a stone or not. But they're not open on the out, the, on the inside, so I have a feeling they're not. But they feel good. And they got crystals around the edge. They're small. That's number two. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got all choked up. No, I know what it is. I just took my sinus medicine. So these are two little elephants with a little black eye. These are silver. Yep, that's the third set. There's Gail. Hi, hi, Gail. And this is the fourth set. These are really pretty. This is more of a gold tone, and these have the original backs to them that are pretty nice <clears throat> so that's a four set and these are seven dollars <clears throat> okay <clears throat> let me see what i should do next Okay, I have the little cameo. I have a little set. As I was going back through, I found a couple more pieces. And of course, I have this cameo. It is not marked. It has a, it's, um, oh, this is gold plated. This is the 18K gold plated. And it's the cameo. The piece on the inside is kind of the orange shell. I'm not an expert, so I'm not sure if it's shell or plastic or resin. I mean, it's a nice piece. And then we have the <clears throat> inside looks brand new. I know it's an older piece, though. It has, you can kind of tell by the little bezel, the way it's shaped. And then you've got the um, ring clasp, and it's got the 18k gold filled it's written on there so that's the first part of that set the second piece which doesn't necessarily match it because it's gold tone but it looks very much like it as far as the girl this is a pin but it is also a locket it is not marked and it opens And it is really pretty on the inside. It's kind of got filigree on this side here. So that's the second piece. And then the third piece is not really a cameo, but I just, I thought it was beautiful. It's an angel with what I think, I don't know. It's like guardian, guardian angel. It's an older piece. It's got the little blue stone at the top. It is gold. A little filigree. I know you guys have all seen these pieces, but this one was just so cool. Then that's the back of it. And like I said, this is a gold tone, the blue stone. She's pretty. That's the third piece. And there's a teeny tiny little, what I would say is a little woman's lapel pin. And she's pretty. Kind of an older piece too, I do believe. Because it um yeah, it has a little rubber stopper in it. So for that four piece of the cameos, um ten dollars. Now it's number four, and that's the cameo. Lot. And like I said, I'm sorry I lost my numbers. To the side. Elaine, did you want to buy the lot? All you have to do is the first person that wants it just says, I want it. Um, no problem. Okay. You got it, Elaine. I wrote it down for you. I'm going to put my email address right now.
make sure it's right. And then you can just send me your info, hon. There is my email. And I'll invoice you as soon as I get your information. And I just ask the girls to pay within 48 hours. That's the only rule, that's the only rule I have, honestly. Um, so the cameo lot is sold to Elaine. And I always put everything on a nice tray behind me. I don't lose anything. That's something I have a horror, like a nightmarish type of thought of selling something to someone and then can't find it. I would just flip. That would just freak me out. Okay, next. See, I've done the pearls. Next, I have three pins. Eight any show. What was that, Rebecca? Um, what I have is a couple of pins. They are not marked, but I just thought I'd give them away for next to nothing. This is very pretty gold. I hope it's showing up. There's the little clown. And he's a nice looking clown. He's not a scary clown. But he is very pretty. Gold wash on him. There. That looks better. And the little markings are red. So I have the clown and I have the JJ pin, which is says mom. Mom. And on the inside, it's got JJ. Very sweet pin. And it actually has a little toggle here on the side and it opens. And it opens. And inside. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Oh, not yet. I will. There's that. And you put your little um, picture in it if you want, or your mom's picture, or. Whatever you want to do, or your daughter, if you give it to her for something. So that is the second pin, and it is a JJ. And the third pin is just so cute. And this is a DD. And you know, I have no idea who that is. But it's kind of funny because it's double D, which I am not, but that's not the point. Double D. And it is a little girl with wings on a leaf. So it's like a little fairy that I thought was very sweet. So for these three pins, it's seven dollars. I think we are up to number five. Three pins. Okay. Oh, I'm not worried. That's perfect. This purple necklace. Right Oh, is she looking for a purple necklace that you have, Rebecca? Okay, the next thing, I have a little um, extra for, the, for this that I had yesterday. I had this yesterday, and I had it, I think I'm, I listed it at 16, just because of, you know, what I've seen. It's called Charming Marie, and it's the Sarah Coventry. It was so cool because... For the same price, I'm going to add in this, which has the exact same color of roses. It is not a Sarah Coventry. It's not marked at all. And it is just as cute as it can be. I do believe that's, I'm pretty sure that that is um, ceramic. I don't think it's plastic. Um, plastic doesn't feel that way. That is the back. So you will get this beautiful, Come on, Sarah Coventry. Her, this the name of this bright necklace. Sorry, is Charming Marie. You'll get her. You'll get the little pin that matches. Same gold and everything. And I have this piece, which is 
A Monet. Is this Monet? Thank you. Well, it's got a Monet back to it, but I don't think it is. It's got that Monet ish back. One earring that matches it perfect with the pearl drop. So I thought I'd just throw that in because there are some girls that know how to do things and can make a pin out of this or whatever. So for the three pieces, I'm still listing it at $16. So that is number six. I just added a couple things to it. And that's the Charming Marie three piece. That was 16. Okay, we got that one done. Isn't that crazy that it matches? I mean, this is a a box I had from a couple months ago because I put everything together. If I show it, I keep it in a lot together. So I can go back to the video or go back to what I had showed it during a live or whatever. And um, I found those. I was like, wow, that is just amazing. Okay, the next thing I have <clears throat> is just kind of a, a kind of an unmarked set. And we'll start off with this tennis bracelet. And what's so strange about this bracelet is it is, I mean, it is so well made with the double clasp. It is diamonds, real diamonds, but it is not gold. And it is not, it's probably sterling underneath vermeil. So this has actual diamonds, diamond tester. I took it to the jeweler. They tested the diamonds. They were diamonds. But I'm just selling it as a, just a bracelet. Nothing special. So there's that, and it has like the bars between the pieces. It's very, very pretty. Nobody would know it wasn't real. And next is the pendant that goes with the set. And it's not showing it as pretty as it really is. That's the back. It is not precious metal, but it is gorgeous. It's like the eternity drop or there. Let's see a little bit of the shine. And I just put it on this necklace. It's an older plain style, but it's like a serpentine, kind of a thicker antique vintage serpentine. And that's the second piece. And then this third piece, and I don't have ear um backs but I do have them and that is the earrings that I'm matching with it there we go it is a probably a third of a C more or less these are not precious metal so I'm sure those are CZs they're nice and shiny and this set right here is $12 that is number seven. That's three piece. There's that. And then we have, let's see, moving right along. I have a set of gold earrings. A lot of gold, gold earrings. We have two different sets of hoops. Two different sizes. They are gold. This, these are all gold. And they have, but these are just in really good shape. They don't have any wear at all. We've got those two. And those are the two sizes. Then we have this pair here, which I thought were very cute. Just kind of a little filigree circle. I thought those would look nice with your hair up. And these are darling. These are like a brushed, almost like that powder coat gold with the dangle on the center. These are nice. There's those. Yeah, those are gold. And then these dangles here. 
and they are very gold and they are filigree and they are gorgeous. They're not, they don't hang very long, so they would just be right up. Because sometimes I want to wear earrings, but at work I don't want to have them just dangling all over the place because of the kids. So that is the fourth pair. So there's one, two, three, four. Well, there's five pairs. And these are $6. So that's five set earrings, $6. All right. Those are the CZs. I don't want to lose track. I think we've got everything over here. Yeah, but you know, when it's not with real gold, it just it just doesn't matter. Did you want the um earrings, the five piece earrings, hun? Elaine? For six dollars. Where'd they go? Earrings, got them. Yeah, these are nice. These are all nice. There's no wear on these of any kind. Yeah, I was surprised that um, some of the jewelry I've had for a while has, I, t I keep it wrapped up and plastic on it and everything. I, I want my stuff to be nice. So I have a four, a lot of four necklaces. And the first one I'll show you, I put it on. I put it on this. Let me see. I've got a black background right here. Hopefully it's not too fuzzy. You know how the fuzz. Okay. I'm hoping you can see this. Doesn't look very good to me. Okay. I put this on the cord. It is actually, from what I remember, it's a marked piece, and I can't remember what it was. It was on an ugly cord, like a cloth cord. Um, but this is really pretty. This is filigree. It's very, very crystally. I wish it would show up better. There we go. Yeah, that 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 background didn't help. So there's that, and I just put it on this one because it's nice, very nice. It's the um, more of a mesh kind than um just the flat and i thought it kind of matched the color of this and like i said you could put this on anything really it's very pretty and it's got like the a b beads i mean crystals they're not beads i hope you can see those because this is really really pretty okay so that's number one Number two is a really cute set. It is, you know, I thought it was marked. Hold on, girls. You know, all it's got is the little rhinestone. I am not sure, but I could have sworn this was marked. But this is number two. It is like one of the four piece. And it starts up about it probably 15, 14, 15 inches and comes down. And these little tabs are cold. I'm pretty sure they're shell. Let's see if I can get it up closer. So that's the second. This is actually a silver tone. So you've got a little bit of silver and gold in this one. So that is the second one. And the third one is marked. And it is a New York. I'm pretty sure it's still got the tags on it. It says not New York and Company. And this is pretty. This has got the yellow in it. When I do that, I'm hoping the yellow is going to show up. And it's got like the little, almost like satellite beads here and gold and kind of a creamy yellow here. This is almost a light orangish yellow there and it comes down so that is a double and it is pretty and yellow 
And then that's number three, and that's New York and Company. Number four is like a statement piece, and it has the most beautiful, it's like a light colored, almost a satin finished silver on the chain here. And it is very, very nice. It's like a collar piece. And it would go up probably about right like this. But I thought it was so pretty to wear with a suit or a black dress, white dress, some pretty little earrings, little silver clip ons or something. So that's number four. This set right here with the four pieces is $13. So this is number nine, and it is $13. That's a four piece. Okay, let me put these back out of the way here. I wanna get them tangly. Okay, I've got a couple more necklace lots. And when I send these, I'll make sure that they do not get tangled. I will put them in separate bags and then into a larger bag. Because you're not buying a jewelry bag or a jewelry box or something from Goodwill. You know, you're getting it from me. So, okay, let me grab these. Okay. These are both express. These are long and beautiful. This one is gold tone. It has the two little gold dangles. It has the extra long snake. This is like the snake chain. It comes down. These are nice. This is brand new. It's never been worn. It still has the tags. I can't tell what the price was on it. But that is beautiful and nice and long. And I think you can twist this back up and over. So there's that one. And then I have a beautiful lilac purple. Faux pearl, it's not pearls, but it is gorgeous. And it has the tassel. The tassel I love because it is finished. It is not a like a raw chain. It has a crystal up at the top with a rondelle. The chain feels like mesh. It does not feel like cheap chain. I just love it. And like I said, this is lilac. You have the double chain on this side, the smaller beads. And this set right here for these two is $12. So that's the express set for 12. Okay. It's two piece express. Let's turn it down. Which one did you want, Rebecca? I'm so busy twiddling around. Um, did you want the four piece? Hmm. Let me know. Did you want the little bracelet set with the rhinestones? These, these, this four piece set was $6. Is that what you wanted, Rebecca? Make sure here. Where'd it go? I'm going to set it over here just in case you want it, Anne. Oh, the diamond set. Well, thank you, Amanda. Let's see here. 
the three piece CZ. I would just say CZs, which was 12. Okay, very good. Is that right, Rebecca? You've got the bracelet, the earrings, and the necklace. I mean, and the earrings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it put up, sweetie. That was for Rebecca. Very good. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, you know what? We're getting down. We're doing good. We're definitely faster than we used to be. You just sent it. Thank you, Elaine. Make sure I got it. I think I got it. Very good. I got it, Elaine. Thank you, dear. Now, if for some reason I put your information in PayPal, don't give me your whole address and stuff for my shipper. I'll just email you and let you give it to me, okay? Because sometimes that pirate ship is the shippers. That's how I ship everything. And sometimes PayPal will let you kind of get through it. But um, I just want to make sure I have your correct address because I want to send it to you. Okay, so there is a four-piece set coming up. And it's really cute. And I did not know that this was a New York and Company piece, but it is. And it has a little Japanese coins. It's very sweet. Very, very cute. Looks very good. It's not, you know, dirty looking or the the metal is perfect. Um, if it wasn't, I would have gave it a bath, but it didn't need a bath. Flip that over. So there's that. And it's pretty good. I mean, as far as size wise, it's not real tiny. It has a bracelet to match. It is not marked, but I'm sure it is a match because of the middle charm. So it comes with this bracelet. And bracelet's pretty large. Yeah, it's not that room. I was thinking about starting to make those extenders for everybody. I have a couple. Um, and it's just got the clasp and a, you know, a nice little chain and a ring at the end to extend um, necklaces. But you can also make, make them for bracelets and just make the little, you know, a little chain out of silver like this, smaller and bigger and gold. And I have really been thinking about making some because they are so nice to have. OK, so the third piece in this lot is a little statement piece. And this is not marked. It does have the extender here. It's kind of a bronze gold. And all through here is kind of a bronze gold. Nothing's missing on this. Oh, I guess this is a four piece. This should show up pretty good on black. There's that. It's very crystally. Looks very good. It has like the little marquee crystals, a little pearl there. I think there's three pearls on here. So that is the third piece. And the fourth piece is just darling. It has a nice extender on it. I had it on earlier because I like it because it's, the stones are, if you look at it from a distance, the top stones have a green cast to them. The bottom stones have some root beer colored with green going through them. I'm trying to see if I can get the light to show you. But this is lightweight. The little beads are plastic, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't think they're glass. It is a quite a statement. It's very pretty, especially with a 
up against your skin. I shouldn't have worn this. But it is gorgeous. So that is piece number four. And like I said, it has kind of the green and the root beer color. Pretty low faceted, probably plastic because it's so light and nice. And this set of four is $12 also. And that's number 11. And that is 12. And that's the four piece with the Chinese. China. Okay, and we're getting there. Let's see. We have a gold tone set here. And this is the funniest thing. I don't know what kind of bird this is. I think it's what is that bird that's extinct from a long time ago? Anyway, I don't know if it's an auk or a dodo that's extinct. It's not gold, but it is a charm on a nice little gold tone necklace. And it is the funniest looking little thing I think I've ever seen. I tried to see if his head came off or he opened up, but he doesn't. But he is the funniest looking little thing. And he's kind of like a textured gold. But he is very, very cool. I mean, he'll sit, he sits by himself. He'll sit up by, by himself. But he is so funny looking. I don't know what that is. So I've got that one. This is kind of the whimsical lot. The second one is tangled. Oh, here we go. The second one is just so pretty. It's a LC. It's the L that comes out and the little C. Like I said, I'm not sure if that's Lauren Conrad. I'm pretty sure it might be. But, you know, with Liz Claiborne, we just don't know. This is a hammered gold. It is beautiful. It is brand new looking. The pearls are there's a dang hold hold on you guys sorry about that there is a little crystal beside the little white and then a little another little gold bead so it is very pretty And um, so that one's gold tone. And like I said, that's LC. I think you can see it. And the next one is really pretty. And it is silver tone. And it is like a charm. Sorry about that, guy. <laughs> Telemarketers. And it has a braided, almost like a little eternity circle. With crystals and like I said that silver tone to me it looks like it's showing up gold but it's not and I've actually seen this before but I couldn't find anything written on it just not sure but I thought it was so pretty very very new looking on a nice chain and these three pieces here this set here is $13. And that's number 12. Three piece. And that has the bird. The bird is hysterical. I just love him. You didn't like the bird? Oh, you want that one too? Hold on here. Let me get you together. Come on. Here we go. Okay, you want that one, Rebecca? Okay. You got the diamond bracelet for 12. Pop the bird's head off. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I thought it opened. It's got a little piece. 
but it's just a ridge. And he's actually got little ridges on his back, like little dots on his back. <laughs> he is so funny. You want this one too? Okay, sweetheart. Let me write this down. Rebecca, your stuff is coming. Rebecca and Gail, your stuff is already gone, ready to go. It's in the mail. So those are for Rebecca. And I'll separate these so the bird doesn't try to do something straight on. Okay. This is just sitting by itself. Can I just throw that in with um, Elaine's stuff? Elaine's a new person with us. I'll just throw this in. Elaine, you get a freebie today. Okay, go back to listening, Rebecca. We're still here. I'm going to put that with Elaine's stuff. Okay. I have another group of long, 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 long. So I got Rebecca down for the bird. Very good. Okay. These are older. These are vintage. They are very pretty. This first set is a shell set, and it has kind of a more of a burnished. Why does that look green? It is dark, almost black. It's just reflecting. Um, and we have, starting about here, we have the beads, and then we have pink and green, and kind of a mother of pearl here. These are all beads and mother of pearl shells. There are a few beads in between here, but it is very long. And at the bottom, you have that. So it's very pretty. And this could be doubled. Very, very pretty. It's got pinks and greens and turquoises in it. Just And it's lightweight. It's not very heavy to be that long. It's pretty cool. The green is spectacular in it. There's a beautiful... Almost like an emerald green, like a mermaid green. And then the second one is a vintage piece. It is gold tone. It has that beautiful chain. It's like the link and then the circle. The links are actually textured. The red beads are AB. They are very pretty. I mean, these are nice. These are glass. Oh, yeah. Um, I've washed all this jewelry, but look at the facets on this. These are fabulous. You've got the faceting here around the edge, and then it's all faceted throughout. Very shiny. So this is your second one. It's nice and long. It's number two. And number three is what I call the satellite necklace. And I have it doubled. And it is very pretty. It's a light gold tone. It's vintage enough to where I'm not sure if maybe it actually was golder, but it really doesn't matter because it's so pretty. Um, you have the little satellites. And you have the little pink plastic beads here or acrylic, I'm not sure. And kind of a little milk, almost looks like milk glass. And here you have the lobster claw. Up here, I actually have this double because it's so long. See how long it is? It's long. But it is nice. It is lightweight. Very pretty. I like the way these kind of dangle off of it. So this piece, this three-piece set of the very super long necklaces are $10. And we are at number 13. This three-piece with the shell. It is ten dollars. Very good. Yeah, I see where your email just came through on my computer, Elaine. So I've got it twice now. Get this put up here real quick. And I have one more. Like I said, we're going through these nice and quick. I think I'm learning. Let's set this one back over here. And this is my last little set. 
And like I said, this works out well because when it plays over again, if anyone's interested in anything that I've shown here that's still here, the shades have meaning. Um, let me see. Two, I got that. <laughs> Amanda talking about popping the bird's head off. Shame on you. Um, so if anybody's watching this after the fact, after it posts, whatever's left is for sale at the price that we're talking about. This is a Lane Bryant. It is kind of like that frosted gold tone. Very nice, soft metal. It has the little green faceted beads here with that AB wash. You've got some very pretty just gold tone squares here. You've got that little, it's almost like a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a little piece of dichroic glass, except it's probably plastic. And it is nice and long, and it can be doubled very nicely. And it does have the same kind of greenish, greenish colors in it. Very pretty. And I thought this, yeah, that's the Lane Bryant. Then we have a beautiful, and I do mean beautiful necklace here, that has a, a wonderful, and this is not marked. This was the one I was shocked. Okay, this one has beautiful crystal, like AB, cream colored, almost white beads on it. And it comes down to this tassel. This thing is gorgeous. Comes down to this tassel that looks almost like milk glass. And the tassel is nice and finished. It's not real raw at the bottom. So you have this. And it comes up and goes around. And it matches my sweater. So it is pretty white. But this thing would match anything. This is um, a light gold tone. And the beads are crystal faceted. And they have quite a bit of shine to them. I don't know if you can see it on here. Yes, it's beautiful. It is super long. It would come down probably almost to my waist, the bottom of the tassel. So I could either double it or just wear it long. You can double it really easy. So there's the second one there. And the third one is so gorgeous. And I can't believe it's all in one piece. This is an express piece. This was even more expensive than the other ones. It has a express tag plus a little feather there. And it comes straight down to this beautiful hanging leaves and feathers. And I mean, these feathers have a gold wash on them. These are gorgeous. Let me turn it this way. And see that it's so light and so dainty. It, it's hanging at the end here on these rings, if you can tell. And they are the most beautiful gold tone. You've got the leaves. You've got a couple of little bitty leaves. There's another one. And then you've got the feathers. And it is the lightest, most beautiful thing. So these three pieces right here are 13 and they are absolutely gorgeous. So that's, the, that's an express, a no name and a lame brand. I like magnetic closures too. Four, three piece with the feathers. Very good. And you know what? I'm like done. I am done and it gets so hot back in this room. I think I'm, this is the Northwest side of the house. And I'll tell you what, it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, Amanda. I'm gonna have to like get a sprinkler. 
I might have to run to the store and get a pool, a little kid pool, and sit in it. I've been known to do that. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I have definitely been known to do that because I am not going to the public pool because it is a hot mess out there. No, I'm in the middle. We are in the middle, sweetie. We're in Indiana. We are in Indiana. Where are you? Are you on the West Coast too? Or are you in Florida? Oh, you're on the West Coast. Oh my goodness. Southern Cap. Have you been shaken? So is my sister, but she's up a little. I think she's a little farther north than. Um, Oh, gosh, San Francisco. So I don't think they've been feeling any of the quakes or anything. Have you guys been feeling it? Because I know that's got to be a weird feeling. We actually had one in Indiana back years ago. I think she, my daughter was a little bitty girl. And it does feel like a roll. I mean, it's just like, felt like the house just rippled. It was just the strangest feeling you're 150 miles from the quake oh my yeah so you would have felt it but it was it was just like it was like I was sitting on the couch watching tv in front of me and I would have been facing east and whatever the quake was or the little fault here in Indiana it was going from west to east so as I'm facing east it was like the whole couch lifted up and it just Amanda, you probably, yeah, you were born, but Amanda would have been about five or six. No, she would have been older than that. No, she wouldn't have. She would have been about five or six. I think that was in 87 or 88, and it was just nuts. Well, Elaine, is Rebecca still on or is she done? Isn't that weird how it feels like a wave? Well, I know that somebody else has a live going on right at the moment, and I can't remember who it was. Um, let me see. Let me think who it was. And I think I thought it was a telemarketer. I think my sister called too. But she is north of where everything is going on. So thank goodness. Oh, Joan Brody is live right now. So, do you know about Joan, Elaine? She is just the coolest person. Oh, I enjoy it. I wasn't able to before, so this is fabulous. So, why don't we go ahead and cut this off? Like I said, if for some reason I can't get your address pulled up, I will email you here in a few minutes. I will PayPal invoice you tonight. And, yes, Joan is fabulous. And, um... Whenever you pay it, it'll be shipped out immediately. So you just let me know. And when you get your things, make sure you let me know if you like everything. Because that just really helps to tell me everything was great, blah, blah, blah. You know, that way I know to do it differently the next time. Or And always tell me if anything happens to it, if it gets smashed or anything like that. Because I will just die. But anyway, I think um, Amanda's already gone too. So... Give Rebecca a goodbye for me, and we will see you guys soon. And thank you so much, Elaine. We're, it's wonderful to have you. All right. We'll talk to you soon, babe. All right, hon. Bye-bye.